because to me it was stacked up for a run situation strength on strength and they decided to put the ball in the air and what a result big time play Elliott good with a PAT and it's now 21 to nothing now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away that's fielded in the end zone and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Nate Gary. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon... Back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hey, empty, empty. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. There we go, back man. Throwing on first is Wins. Picked off at the 20. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On first and 10, here's Carr. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. 
Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Car to throw again. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Darren Waller there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try to add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way. I have and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick. guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Car now on first down. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Rodney McLeod. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And we just forced. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Take four, take four. On the carry, this is Scott. And an alley to run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. To throw again on second down. Wentz caught by the tight end Ertz. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Recon, 132 fighter. Tight go. Sunday, Sunday. Stay it up. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. On first down, Lance. A dump off to Sproles. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. 61, matchbox lights. 46 down, man, 5-4. From midfield, here's Wentz. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Sunday, Sunday. This five, seven. Bravo. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. Aguilar has it. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Wentz now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They go counter with Howard. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. At the 49-yard line. Caught by Goddard, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. From the gun, it's Wins. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Nevin Lawson with a pick, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Brings up second and seven at the 31-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Carr. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. You never want to give up a sack from the O-line's down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, he covered a lot of ground, 82 yards on the punt return. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. 
Always important to get the first score of the second half.